Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Bug Fables The Everlasting Sapling. Uh, last time we did the first half of the Golden Hills, I guess, dungeon? Like the, the area where the boss is and all that stuff. <laughs> it's not really a dungeon, it's a nice outside area, but... You know, it, it's functionally equivalent to a dungeon in an RPG, so, you know. Uh, this time we're gonna do the other half, which is on this side. Uh, and we're probably gonna level up at least once. Uh, we're not close to leveling up, 24 out of 106. Uh, but you may remember I had some trouble trying to re to recall which stat to choose each time we ranked up. Uh, it's happened, I think, six times so far. Uh, so I wrote a little script off camera here, uh, which will let me know what we need to do next. So hopefully I won't have that problem anymore. <laughs> yes, I'm a huge nerd. But yeah, as you can see, the next thing we need to upgrade is metal points. So we will be upgrading metal points. Uh, look forward to that. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Why did I say thank you for watching? What the hell? The video just started. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go this way. <laughs> oh gosh. We got a bit of a sneak peek of this last time, you may remember. Uh, boop. Those flowers are dripping dew. How refreshing. Ugh, I'm getting snake mouth flashbacks. I need to make sure to stay dry. Silly V. Let's make sure to utilize that water wisely to explore the area. It's been a while since we froze stuff. We're looking forward to it. Good view, Leaf. Okay, uh, first thing we have to do is obviously spin a spin a this bridge here. Uh, it's still a little fiddly throwing your beam ring at exactly the right spot. There we go. What we want to do here, uh, we want to freeze this droplet here. And bring it with us. Uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, the, getting the angles right can be a little fiddly. Uh, then we want to spin uh, the thing again while we're standing on the bridge, like this. There we go. Uh, we want to take out this chomper so it doesn't get in our way. Uh, I believe chompers are quite strong. Oh, we've already seen some. Okay, I, I wasn't sure if we had or not. Let me just make sure. Yep, we've seen all this before. Okay. <laughs> I'm just misremembering. Fair enough. Um, okay, we have Hurricane Toss now. It might be good to use that. Uh, that ignores one point of defense, and then it's basically a Tornado Toss. Also, it flips an enemy, so it's pretty good. Uh, more expensive, though, as you can see. Uh, hmm... Yeah, let's leave with a hurricane toss. So that ignores one point of defense. Two, three, four, five. They should be on one health now. Yep. Uh, now we just throw our beamerang. And there we go, jump is gone. Uh, we'll flip this guy. Boom, 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 boom. I really love the music in this game. It's just really good. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, because Leaf has the um, back support badge enabled, uh, they didn't take any damage there, which is nice. It's it's, it's convenient to not take damage. <laughs> okay, we'll take out this Econling here. Uh, we'll just do a normal attack. It's not going to kill it, but it'll it'll get us going. Ooh. Yeah, uh, Chompers are nasty on hard mode. Uh, we should be okay, though. Uh, we will eventually get some medals that help us recover from getting hurt in, like, random encounters like this. Uh, it takes a little while to get to them, though. I am looking forward to them. Uh, there's some really good ones. Uh, the medals in this game are very powerful. And the items are, too. Like, m most of the stuff in the game that you have, you can use in limited amounts is extremely powerful and good. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, we want to bring this across here. We want to get it onto the fly trap and then very quickly get it back off the fly trap uh, before we get eaten. <laughs> there we go. Okay, and that lets us reach. Almost. That lets us reach over here. A wooden crank. It should fit in a slot somewhere to control nearby mechanisms. 
I really should be playing a different game, like, in terms of getting all my different playthroughs going. Um, I have a lot of backlog for bug, bug fables, and I most recently played this one beforehand, so really I ought to be playing something else, probably another Ace Attorney, but I was in a bug fables mood, so bug fables it is. <laughs> anyway, uh, this small crank, that won't help us over there, but it will help us over here. There is a hole, something could fit here. It's the small crank. Then we can stand on this platform. Chuck! Uh, actually, we can also go back to this save point and restore all of our uh, HP and TP, so that's nice. Up, 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 up. There we go, now we can go this way. It's been a while since we saw flying seedlings. Time for some smacking! Wait, huh? Haven't you noticed the spikes in our path? Yeah, but what's that got to do with my smackdown? I, I see. We could freeze them to get across. Hmm, hmm. Finally, a non-violent solution. Yeah, cool, whatever. I, I really want to smack something, though. <laughs> yeah, um, I didn't tattle in this room before. Like, it's kind of obvious that's what you're supposed to do, but... that you're supposed to, you know, freeze the bugs to get across, but I didn't tattle, I just sort of figured it out. So... I guess I give you a hint, and also it's really funny, because the characters have such personality. It's a little bit fiddly, there we go. Let me get to here. Yeah, timing some of this is a little weird. There we go. So here, uh, the bug is flying- the flying ceiling's a bit too far away, so we need to use this, this block first. Like so. Then we have a platform we can stand on. Ooh, careful. Then we can freeze the seedling from here in order to cross the rest of the way. Yeah, it's a little scary. <laughs> uh, then over here. Yeah, this bit's a bit tricky because of the, the angle, like, it makes the depth perception a lot fiddly, more fiddly than normal. There we go. Okay, you don't actually need to use the bug. You can just get across by jumping at the right spot. Uh, here we want to spin this. Uh, stay a bit further away. Oh, come on, V, you can do it. There we go. Spin that around this way. There we go, then we can jump. Oh, right, right, uh, the seedlings are weak enough that we just defeat them and we touch them because they bug me not. Oh, right, I remember this puzzle. Yeah, I think you might not need that, that, uh, ice cube to do that part, but you do need the ice cube to do this part. Yeah, I, I've mentioned already, the puzzles are a little bit janky in terms of the physics and stuff, but the, they're fun enough and the rest of the game is fantastic enough that it's not really a problem. <laughs> you found a big crank top half. Half of a big wooden crank. You should look for the other half. You got the big crank. Yep, we combine the two halves automatically. Which means we can reach the final part of the Golden Hills. Let's go. Come here. Come here, silly, silly bug. There we go. Okay, now we can exit. We should be able to reach the upper level now. Hmm, something's odd. Let's make sure we're ready. Oh, right. Yeah, we have to make sure we're ready. Um... Which means we probably want to hit this, and we might want to check our badge uh, arrangement first. Metal, metal badge, these things. Uh, let me see. We have one point to spare, but I think the way we have them arranged right now... Hmm. We can take off quickly and bug me not in order to get more HP. Which I think I'll give to V. Uh, that's probably a better setup for what we're about to do. So the reason they're letting you know to prepare first is because... When you place the crank over here... Big crank. Oh ho ho! Aren't you hard workers? 
Uh, who are you? Excuse me? It's Mathiva. 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 From the festival concert. Wow. It's an honor to meet such a famous individual. Hmm, that's better. And she came with a personal stalker. I am not a stalker. I couldn't resist sneaking in. Seeing you work here has been so inspiring. <laughs> Thanks. Now, you wouldn't mind just letting us go after the artifact? Pretty please? What? No way, we put in all the effort. Oh, come on, I'll even mention you in the next show. You'll get so much exposure. Hmm, think of all the exposure we'll get turning in the artifact. I wouldn't recommend getting sassy. What do you even need the artifact for? While I was busy bringing joy to Bagaria's citizens, you snuck into Snake Mouth. And now everyone's just talking about you. That's not our problem. I ain't giving up that reward. The summit may hold answers for us, so we're not going to budge. I don't really care about fame or riches, so I would let you pass, but... Oi, Kabu! It matters to my friends, so my answer is no. Hmm, so you've chosen to do this the hard way. Get ready. You would attack a fellow exploration team? Oh ho ho! It's a bug eat bug world on the way to stardom. We'll just put you to sleep for a bit. This is stupid. Have it your way, you're gonna get smacked down. Yeah, we have to fight them. Uh, we're gonna wanna spy on them so that we know what their abilities are. Also their health. Hmm. So you really wanna fight, Zasp? Bet you think you'll win because you're all cool and tall. Prepare for a beam ring to the face. Okay, one defense, HP 25. Uh, we should be able to manage. Mothiva, you are respected and adored by so many. It pains me so to see your true colors. Let's defeat her and then take care of Zasp. Uh, the reason that uh, Kabu said that is that uh, Mothiva can resurrect Zasp if she's still up. Uh, however, if you attack Mathiva, uh, Zasp will counterattack uh, because he's really into her, I guess. So what we want to try to do first, see if we can freeze them. Okay, we froze Zasp, that's a good start. Okay, I didn't block any of those, that's real bad. <laughs> um... Zasp has one defense, so we're gonna use a Hurricane Toss, do a bit more damage. Uh, Kabu, you can use my no normal attack. We'll try another Ice Fall. Hopefully we can freeze them both. That would be best. Okay, we froze with Eva. Okay, I said counterattack. What I meant was Zasp gets powered up. Uh, and does a heap more damage. I said the wrong thing. <laughs> but yeah, you can see it's pretty bad. Uh, we're gonna... Let's see, what do we have here? Leaf a shake, leaf salad, cook shroom. We don't have a whole lot that replenishes TP again. So that's not ideal. Uh, 6 HP, 6 HP. Have a leaf salad, V. There we go. Uh, then we're gonna try a spicy bomb. Yeah, every time you damage with Eva, uh, Zasp gets charged up. It's, it's pretty bad. Uh, let's see if we can freeze him. Oh, I haven't used Fridge Coffin in this playthrough yet, I think. I messed it up. Oh dear. Oh my goodness. Um, we're getting a magic seed, V. Uh, this isn't going well. <laughs> Uh, okay, then she can hit that guy, uh, hit that guy again. So what just happened was he used the spicy berry and then he got a turn relay in order to use Mathiva's turn, which is a thing we can do, but they can also do it because they're another exploration team. They have the same sort of abilities we do. I think we might be in trouble. I don't think we're equipped with the right stuff to win this battle. Uh, we may need to retry. All 
I don't know what the timing is to block that. Okay, we'll give it another shot. Um, we, we can skip uh, spying on them, which means we get two more turns at the very beginning, which may help us out. We'll see how we go. Okay, let me just have a quick think here. Spicy Bomb does a little bit of splash damage. I think that's a good thing to lead with, though. Okay, then let's try an Ice Fall. No one frozen, really? Mm. That's just rude. Thing, the things Ash just did, that's taunting. Uh, it's the same move Kabu has that forces people to just attack. Uh, you can see it disables a whole bunch of other options. They can only use the base attack. I think they do more damage though, so it might actually be helpful. No, we didn't do more damage. Okay, there's actually a, a metal that puts you in this state permanently, but it increases your damage by quite a lot. It is pretty good, depending on how you use it. Um, there are stronger badges in the game, of course. I'm gonna need to learn how to time these blocks so this isn't gonna work. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I probably wanna use the magic seed rather than a pep talk. To conserve my uh, TP as long as possible. Since I don't have any TP restoration. I don't know why that is. Uh, let's try a numbnail dart. Okay. Sleep is asked. Sleep is asked. Uh, uh, I keep messing that up. Frigid Coffin is not hard to use, I'm just doing it wrong. Uh, unbelievable. is too hard for me. <laughs> um, okay. I'm gonna take out Mothiva this turn, uh, and then it's just Zasp to deal with, and he can't resurrect her. So, we might be able to deal with it from this point? We'll see. It's gonna be complicated. Um, Okay, uh, I'm gonna leave V down for now. I think I'm out of magic seeds anyway. Yeah, I am. I have to leave V down. Okay, so we attack. Another three damage. Hmm. Throw another Numdell guard at him. There we go. Sleepy time now. Actually, I think being attacked wakes them up anyway, so that doesn't really help as much. Yeah, it does. Damn. Uh, let's give Kapu a burly berry, see if that helps. <laughs> I may need to actually go and get some different items and then try. Yeah, we're about to lose. He has one health, but he's gonna kill me. Oh, so close. <laughs> uh, let's try one more time with just the resources we have at our disposal. 
Uh, and then only to get some more items. Uh, okay. Let me see here. Like, if I'd gotten better luck with Icefall, I might have been able to freeze them and therefore avoided their attacks. As you can see, it's not happening. Hmm. I don't think the Numbnail Dart is a good idea. Uh, because it gives them healing when, they, when, I, when I use it. Uh... Nine health. Yeah, this is not going well. <sighs> I made just several, multiple awesome blocks in a row and it still didn't work. Uh, he has two points of defense. I think the spicy bomb might pierce defense, which is why I just used it. Seems to have worked. Give me the belly berry. Okay. Zaspa's down and our resources are going okay. Uh, we can't use any, any skills because we haven't got uh, good TP restoration, but I think we might be alright. Mm -mm. We'll see how we go. <laughs> and she can resurrect Zasp, so that's something to be concerned about too. Uh... Seriously, Zasp, get up. See? Yeah. Um... Okay, uh, now we have another turn to hit with Eva. Uh, I think that's a win. Okay. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> it took a couple tries, but we did it. Oh, how could you? <sighs> They're strong. How dare you sully my fluff, you talentless, disgusting peasants! That's what you get for trying to hijack our mission. Mothiva, Mothiva, you are nowhere near as kind as I hoped you would be. Mm-hmm. And Zasp, you lost the little respect we had for you. Silence! I won't forget this! You haven't seen what an amazing performance I can give. Mothiva, we should retreat for now. I know that, and not because you told me. We'll meet again, Team Snake Mouth. Things some would do for fame. I mean, I almost can't blame her. Getting an artifact really bumps you up in the ranks. Not like I was going to let them take it from us, though. Well, despite the unexpected detour, we should be able to proceed now. We sent some strong magic up there. Let's make sure we're prepared. Okay, um, we probably want to hit this first, just to heal up. Um, 
We probably need some more items to continue. Because uh, we spent some there. At least a magic seed if we can find one. Uh, I think there might actually be one up there. Let's go have a quick look. Going up. Leave? Are you alright? It's been a while since one of those episodes. We're probably getting close to the artifact then. Mm, yes, so much magic. Perhaps you should stay here, Leaf, until we clear a path. N no, we're fine now. We won't retreat when we're so close. Look, stop acting tough. It'll be bad if you trip and stuff. Thank you, V, but we're fine. Let's go. If you feel weak at any point, we'll stop. Let's go, team. I hope Leaf is feeling okay. Yeah, V, we must keep watch over him. Thanks. When the goddess eats the sun and then devours the moon, only then will she appear. A fly trap rests on this trunk. It seems to be waiting for something. Yeah, the little poem we just heard was a hint. We have to give her the sun and then the moon. Here is the sun. Dun, 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 dun. I really like the music in this game. It's it's just really great. Alright, I forgot they do that. Get back down here. Hopefully we'll level again soon. Namelda. We are a little low on resources. There is a hole, something could fit in it. Yeah, we need another crank. Gotta find it somewhere. That is a chumper. Oops. Whoopsie daisies. Uh, there we go. Get back down here. Hit that guy. There we go. All oh, right. Yeah, they can do that. <laughs> It's been an adventure in remembering what the different enemies can do. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, they can do it more than once. Or can they? Doesn't look like it spawned another enemy the second time. Hmm. Little ones don't have any defense, so this should be easy. Close. 
Okay, here what you've got to do is jump out here, chuck that, make sure it gets in the right spot. Then while holding B, you have to make your way back over here. Like so. It can be a little tricky with the whole, whole dexterity thing. Uh, with some practice, it's not too bad, though. Though you'd need some sort of different setup if you have difficulty holding buttons, I suppose. You found a wooden crank. Put a crank in here. Okay, this one you just want to hold in place like this. Because then you can get on the spinning platform. You off the spinning platform. Okay, we're at about a half hour now, so I'm just gonna wrap this up when I can. Did I already press the button in here? I didn't. Ugh, oh. Leaf, you're speaking weird again. S sorry, it's been happening randomly. This area's magic is too potent. Let's try to finish the mission quickly. There isn't a magic seed here. There, there often is one near the bosses that you can just grab for free, but it doesn't look like there is one in this one. Clack. Fly trap rests on the trunk and you're waiting for something. It's a moon offering. Here you go. And we're done with the Golden Hills now. So there is the actual boss battle. We're gonna need to resupply before we do that, so I'm gonna call this a video. Uh, and next time we will actually take on the boss and complete chapter two. Uh, there'll be some cutscenes and stuff, so it, it should wrap up nicely. Uh, let me just make sure there aren't any berries hanging around here first. Cool. Hit down a save and thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I was kind of expecting to level up in this video. We, we almost got there, but not quite. It may be a good idea to level up before we start the next video, just so we've got some more metal points to work with, that kind of thing. Huh, I forgot that I switched off Bug Me Not and Quickly. <laughs> eh, it doesn't matter. Uh, probably having H HP pluses on, on for the boss is helpful anyway. Okay. Uh, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye!